Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video, and yes, eh, still in celebration, uh, this time, you know, for, you know, a light year finally being released, um, this, uh, this documentary that had, that had recently came out on Disney+, Plus, and yeah, of course, I had to check it out, obviously, and I knew that I would review this. That's right, and I'm reviewing, um, the, uh, like, uh, the documentary on Disney, straight to, straight on Disney+, Plus, Beyond Infinity, Buzz and the Journey to Lightyear. This was actually a pretty nice, uh, small documentary, um, all about Buzz Lightyear, of course, from his beginnings to today. Um, yeah, and, ever, like, everybody, like, part of this being interviewed, like, you know, um, Pete Doctor, Lee Unkridge made an appearance. That was great. Andrew Stanton, G uh, Galen Suzman, uh, Anthony Greenberg, and um, and I, I was a bit disappointed. I mean, I guess I could understand since he departed from, you know, Disney and Pixar altogether. John Lasseter, because him being mentioned, and you know, I mean, it would have been nice if he at least made an appearance in this, since you know his. Heavy involvement in Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story, you name it. But that, again, I can, as I said, I can understand, you know. But um, I thought that this documentary was really good because, you know, again, because the beginning, Buzz's beginnings, how he was developed, like, you know, like, as we all should know, like, the original early developments for Toy Story, like, well, before Buzz, like, you know, there was... Tinny, you know, aka Tin Toy, and he was going to be the star of this, of Pixar's first ever, you know, motion picture, and, uh, you know, uh, it was going to be uh, him and a ventriloquist dummy who would become Woody, but at that point, you know, things started changing for, like, Pixar's plans to make their first ever motion picture, and Tin Toy not being not the hottest toy everybody would want, and they were thinking, you know, like, there was, you know, something that we all wanted as a kid, and of course, being a spaceman, um, and Buzz Lightyear, you know, because originally Buzz Lightyear was called Lunar Larry at one point, but then his name changed from that to Buzz Lightyear, and especially, and of course, named after Buzz Aldrin, um, and he went through many changes and looks and designs up until as how he looked in the film as we know it um and um even at one point because well buzz was going to be a bit small kind of like th i'd say this size um you know like a like a midget like spaceman or whatever you get my point um but no because the side the way he looks and the size that's how he looks and as we all know and especially because like you know of you know them mentioning how much merchandise he's made, and, oh, even, like, say they mentioned custom-made Buzz stuff, which that's really cool, like, uh, marionette puppets or stuff like that, that's pretty cool, <clears throat> and, um, you know, from the Toy Story films, and, of course, leading up to, you know, Lightyear, of the real-life Buzz Lightyear, how he became a space ranger, and Chris Evans voicing Buzz Lightyear, it's amazing, how, uh, and, well, not however, but I just, I, I want to point out something. This is a good documentary, but there's one thing I'm disappointed about, about this documentary. Again, I don't hate this documentary. I think this was a pretty good short documentary. Just one thing that they left off. They, they freaking left out Buzz Lightyear Star Command. I mean, come on, Pixar. They, they have they no respect for Buzz Lightyear Star Command? I don't, you know... It's still unknown to this day why it's never going to be, why it still hasn't been been released on DVD, Blu-ray, and for the matter, everybody wanting wanting it to, to for it to be released on Disney Plus. Me too. Like I want to see this on Disney Plus, but it still hasn't happened yet. And you know, even like I remember like me and my mom talking about this that maybe, just maybe, with the release of Lightyear, maybe Disney Plus will put Buzz Lightyear of Star Command on Disney Plus. Who knows still at this point? Ugh. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, but again, I was disappointed. I'm I'm disappointed that Buzz Lightyear Star Command was left out of the documentary. Just, I don't know. 
But um, again, like this documentary was good. Like it had, this documentary had some funny moments for sure. In fact, talking about time and time travel and all that stuff. In fact, pick the Pixar team getting in contact with NASA and them answering the questions. It was pretty funny. And Jason Headley, like he, yeah, the director of Lightyear, because he's part of, yeah, he's in the documentary too. And, um, yeah, some of the not, some of the NASA astronauts making an appearance as well. Yeah, pretty funny and pretty good too. So, yeah, the documentary Beyond Infinity, Buzz and the Journey to Lightyear, I think is a pretty good short documentary all about Buzz Lightyear. And, uh, oh yeah, and I forgot, like, some other stuff they talked about, like, oh yeah, because when, remember when Buzz Lightyear had his own balloon in the Thanksgiving Day Parade? I remember that. Um, you know, cosplays. God, I've seen some pretty good cosplays of, like, a what a real-life Buzz Lightyear would look like. Uh, and, um, yeah, but anyways, in fact, the attractions that Buzz has had is amazing, you name it. So I give this documentary a 10 out of 10. Um, it's good. Again, one thing that I'm disappointed is, hey, they left out Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. That's it. So, anyways... But with that being said, um, again, 10 out of 10 for the documentary Beyond Infinity, Buzz and the Journey to Lightyear. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Beyond Infinity, Buzz and the Journey to Lightyear. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Take care, peace out, and to infinity and... Beyond.